guys, how is it going? I'm glad to see you back. My weekend was very educational. I was at the British Science Festival. Do you have similar events in your country? I learned a lot about British science and the country's influential scientists and inventors. And even got a chance to try using replicas of some old inventions. I'm pretty sure you know several famous British men who left their mark on history. Who comes to your mind first? For example, Isaac Newton. He discovered three laws of motion in physics. Newton was also the first to document the mechanics of universal gravitation. Isaac Newton is often regarded as one of the most important scientists in human history. Who do you think of next? Maybe Charles Darwin? It was Darwin who proposed modern theories of evolution and natural selection. Did you know that having written his book on evolution in adulthood, he did not publish it until his later years? His theory was rather controversial at the time, and he was not sure how public would respond to it. The book explained how life could have developed on Earth without a god. Obviously, not everyone was ready for that. Another world-changing discovery was made by a Scottish inventor. Do you have any idea who I'm talking about? It's Alexander Bell, the father of the first ever telephone. He got interested in carrying out experiments with sound when he was still a university student. Interestingly, there was another American inventor, Alicia Gray, who was pursuing research in the same field. Gray's findings were identical with those of Bell, and he even accused Bell of stealing his invention. Nevertheless, it was Bell who was granted the patent for the world's first telephone. These are household names, but there are several British scientists whose names are not well known, but they still deserve to be mentioned. Logie Baird, another Scotsman, is credited with the creation of television as he gave its first demonstration to the public. Baird even established his own television company, which broadcast the first transatlantic television signal between London and New York. Have you ever heard the name of Joseph Fry? No? We owe him one of the tastiest inventions of all times, a chocolate bar. When cocoa beans came to the UK, people made a drink out of them. But Fry was the first to come up with the idea of adding more cocoa butter to the mixture to create a chocolate bar. In fact, first bars were rather expensive and tasted bitter, so it took quite a while for Fry to find a way to make chocolate bars as tasty as they are nowadays. Have you ever thought how a toothbrush appeared? Neither had I. You know, it's one of those little things we all take for granted. As it turns out, a man called William Addis went to prison and having a lot of time on his hands, decided to reconsider the way people brushed their teeth. He found a small animal bone, made a hole, and tied some bristles through it. When Addis was released, he set up a business for the mass production of toothbrushes. Did you know that his company, Wisdom Toothbrushes, still exists today? What are some famous scientists and inventors in your country? What would you like to invent? Use your imagination and share your ideas with us in the chat.